Hi Flosstube, I'm Sally. Stitchy Sally here on Flosstube and on Instagram. Today is Wednesday the 4th of August 2021 and this is Flosstube number 6. Wow, number 6. How did I get here? It's quite amazing really. Um, welcome to my channel about cross stitch, whether you are new or whether you are a returning viewer. Um, most of the stuff I've got to share is what you have seen in my last video. Um, I have a finish. I also have a new start, which is a finish. Um, some whips. No FFOs this time. I had planned to get some done, but sadly um, I ran out of uh, mount card. Um, so I've ordered some more. That was supposed to be coming next Monday, but it's, it's coming today. So... Um, I might get some finishes before the next video, next time I film. Um, and I also have some haul. I've got to stop. I really have got to stop this because I'm just getting worse. But it's what I enjoy. I enjoy the stitching. So, um, As you can see, I'm filming from a different place yet again. Um, I'd got everything set up to film in the same place as before, still in the dining room. Um, and my daughter came in and she said, I'm just going to try this. So she moved me over here. So I've got the light coming in from the window over there. Um, and she reckons this is my sweet spot. So we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. So without further ado, I think we should get on. And I'll start with my whips. Um, so this one, the first one that I'm going to show you, which as I say you've seen before, is whoops, the blue flower, Tudor Bee. Um, and this is the hashtag Tudor Bee Sal, which is hosted by the contented stitcher, Kim, and Alba Stitcher, Amanda. And I actually did um, Stitch Extra on this last week. Um, and I am really, really loving how the colours are looking, how it's stitching up and everything. And that is 40 Count Permin Sandstone Linen, which I am getting much more used to now. And just in case you're new and you've not seen them before, there's the colours. And that is in my Bags Plus Floss Buddy. Um, so I think, I don't know what I've got done last time actually, I can't remember. But I think, I think all this is new. I'm not entirely sure, I might have got that done last time. But I think this is definitely all new. So I'm really enjoying that. I'd quite like to try and get it finished this month, um, whether I will or not. I don't actually know, but I'll give it a go and see. Um, right. I haven't got as much room doing it from this angle. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, my next is this one. October House Fibre Arts. I have to have a look because I always want to say it a different way to what it is. It's wear wool. And that's very cute. Love the colours. And I'm stitching this in a mixture of the called for Gentle Arts and the DMC. And since the last time I showed this, that big ass sheep is finished. And that is one cute big ass sheep. Um, this is, I don't know what this fabric is, as I said before. It's one that I was given by a lady at the craft group that I 
used to go to pre-pandemic. I don't know when it'll start up again. Um, not really sure. Shall have to wait and see. So that's that one. I think I've got, as I say, I've finished the sheep and its legs in this little, whatever that is down there, these motifs up here. I'm really enjoying that one. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's a nice piece to stitch. I've just eaten some nuts. I knew I shouldn't have done. I'm tickling the back of my throat now. <laughs> Trying to eat healthily. Trying to stay away from biscuits and chocolate. Right, so my next one is... Nearly lost that. Winter in Baltimore by with thy needle and thread. I haven't got quite as much done on this. I, I was just distracted when I picked it up last Saturday. I was just distracted. So I haven't got quite as much done as I would really have liked, but never mind. Again, this is one that I'd quite like to finish this month. I'd quite like to get Get some new, more new starts if I can. And there it is. And these are the called for threads except for um, this. This is supposed to be WD linen and I have swapped it for, I said the wrong one last time, it's not 3865, it's B5200. Swapped it for that. I'm disorganised again this morning, really sorry. <coughs> and those, yep, I know, they're in a mess. <laughs> Should have tidied them before I started, but I didn't. Um, so I finished the house and the, did I have it? Oh. I can't remember, can't remember what I had last time. But I think I finished the house and done the trees and this and then this little bit. So that is a couple of Saturday stitching, but like I say, I got I got a bit distracted. I think I was probably too busy on my iPad. Instead of getting on and, and stitching like I should have been. Um and I actually think I might, might have found a box, but I need to just double check the measurements and everything just to make sure. Oh, that's come off again. My little ball thing keeps coming off my project bag. Um, right, so last night was uh, the Tuesday night BBD cell that I do with Barb and Mouse. Um, some of you will know as Michelle, some of you will know as Mouse. Um, and <coughs> Mouse and I are stitching on our last in friendship sampler here. Well, so it's not really a sampler, is it? Because it hasn't got the alphabet on it, but I keep calling it a sampler. Um, I don't know that I'll stitch anything else out of this. And for anybody that is a new viewer, these are my colours. Again, a mixture of DMC and the called for Fancy Floss. And when I was actually stitching on this last week, I think I got a couple of the greens mixed up. I'm not taking it out, it's staying. Oops. Caught my mouse. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, I don't think you can really tell unless you look close. Um, I think down here and one of the rows here, the, ring, the green is slightly lighter. I don't know how I did it, to be honest, because usually I'm really careful about putting colours back 
on the white skins, but never mind. Um, so I've finished the border around this middle bit, um, filled in here, I've filled in the middles, middles, middles of these flowers. Um, this bird did this bird here, did this here, filled in the house. I think I might have done some of these cartouches. Cartouches? Is that is that the right word? Um, So I do, I'm quite enjoying this now. I think I've got out of my face where I didn't like it. I didn't like stitching it. I like the design, but I just didn't like stitching it. I think I've, uh, I think I've finally passed, passed that now, hopefully. Um, so yeah, mouse, uh, no, Barb is stitching uh, for the bird. She's stitching them all on one piece of fabric and uh, they're coming along beautifully um, if you're in the fans of, I don't know whether she's been posting the fans of Pop Bear designs group actually I look at so many look down fans of Black Bear designs so many times I tend to forget what's been posted and what hasn't um, and then um, <laughs> I, I'm having having a bit of a giggle at my stopping point on this piece um, and it, it it did amuse quite a few people actually when I'd um, when I posted it on the Fans of Black Bear Designs group and also on uh, Instagram so I'm stitching this from Tokens of Friendship book which is out of print and I'm using all the called for gentle arts Threads. And there they are. Those are all the threads. And I think I said last time that I'd I'd ordered um I think it was blueberry and cinnamon because they didn't have a lot left. And I'm quite pleased that I didn't I, I wasn't in, actually in a position to start stitching with them because the dye lots are very, very different. Um, and of course, because I'm stitching one over one, I can't you I can't um, use two threads and just use the others up, blend them. But that's fine. I may well be able to use them up at some point. Um, <clears throat> and this is stitched on that's five count platinum linen by Zweigart. And that's my progress. So at the moment that says, or it looks like it says, forget men. And as I say, it it highly amused me when I actually I took I took the photograph um to put it up on Instagram. Hadn't really taken a lot of notice and then suddenly realised <laughs> that that's what it looked like. I'm really pleased with that. I love how it's coming along. Really, really nice. Lovely design. Um, so that, I believe, is all my whips at the moment. <coughs> oh, sorry, tickle, tickle in my throat. It's always the same, isn't it? You start filming, it's either an itchy nose, an itchy ear, a cough. <coughs> Terrible. Right, so. Sorry, I thought I'd lost something then. I'm just gazing off into space there, didn't I? Um, I got a bit confused and I wasn't actually sure whether... Last weekend was the BBD weekend sale, or this coming weekend was the BBD weekend sale. So I thought, it doesn't really matter because it is, it's an open sale. We don't have to just do it one weekend in a month. Um, so I, I started mine actually on Friday afternoon. I just decided that I was going to sit and stitch, watch a little bit of floss tube. And then I carried on with it Saturday afternoon and then finished it on Sunday. So this is the one. 
to stitch and that's from me to thee another one from the deck the holes book that one and doesn't look like all of them but i think it must be there's the threads just using dmc you can actually see me properly i'm gonna have to get another skein of that out this thread job this was made for me by um my lovely surrogate sis lisa lisa s stitches um oh nearly lost it nearly lost it off and that's my finish yeah. so that's stitched on 35 counts pale grey linen and do excuse this <laughs> this was the last piece i had so i just thought it'll do there's plenty of uh, of room around it for the finishing so i'll just use it and then I can start on my new my new piece next time. Um, so now I've just got two left to stitch. And um, I have um, a cake stand. It's just like a glass. It's a cake stand that uh, belongs to my mum. Um, so I think I'm probably going to display them on there at Christmas. I think they'd look, maybe look quite nice on there. Um, I think my sister wondered what on earth was wrong with me, wanting to bring home a cake stand and things like that when we cleared the house out after uh, my dad passed away. But it was just some things that, like from growing up, my childhood and everything and remembering those things. Um, so I, I just brought, brought some stuff home, to be honest. Um, <laughs> just, uh, Maybe it wasn't a good idea just bringing, bringing some stuff, bringing loads of stuff. Well, I did bring loads of stuff home. I had there was some Hornsey pottery, um, vases, um, old, I think from the seventies maybe. Um, that I brought home as well, and that I've got in my kitchen, because the gird, the the gird. <laughs> oh, the amount of times I just make up words, new words. They go well with the colours in my kitchen. There we go. <sighs> I think it's going to be one of those days somehow. Ah, this won't fit on my card, so never mind. No, that's, it's not going to work. So this is my other finish, which if you've been watching me for a while, you will have seen it many times and that is Madame Chantilly Berries and Robins and that is stitched on 32 count vintage country mocha using the called for DMCs and I just love it love 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 it So I'm planning on finishing that as some sort of a hanging to put on the wall, um, which is what, what I'm waiting for the card for. I've got, I have a plan for it. Uh, whether it'll work or not is a different matter. I'm going to have to, oops, going to have to see. I keep knocking everything. Um, right, what else? Yeah, last time I did mention that I'd ordered some fabric uh, when when I ordered the threads that I, that I wanted for forget me not brain brain does just it just does not want to work and <laughs> I made a bit of a mistake. For some reason, in my rush, in my rush to order the, the threads, I went into the fabric and I went into the Murano and I ordered Stormy Cloud 
And then when it came on thinking, this isn't what I wanted. No, because I should have gone into the linen and ordered, can't remember, can't remember what it was, which was a bit of a darker. So I toyed with the idea of getting some dye, dyeing it a little bit darker. And then I thought, by the time I've spent money on the dyes, I might as well just get another piece of fabric and save, save this one. And then I thought, oh, I lost my daughters. Abby's got quite a good eye for colour. So I thought, I'll ask her what she thinks. Will it look okay? So she has decided that, yes, it will look okay. Well, actually, they, they, both, they both said it would look okay. So I don't think it's going to show up too well. I'll just take it out there to pack it. So that is what I'm going to use for that. I know that it's that is a lot darker. Um, the fa the colourful fabric, but to be honest, because everything is quite dark anyway, I think it, it, it's going to. Well, I've done a floss toss, and it shows up nicely. So this is one of my. Sorry, <laughs> can't see it up there, can you? Uh, this is one of our plans for September. I mean, it's, well, it's not that far off now, is it? When we're already into onto the 4th of August. Uh, Lainey and I are going to start a salon this sometime in September. We haven't decided exactly when yet. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then I think I might do, possibly do a yellow submarine on the same fabric. Um, but I'll see. I'll see how it goes with this one. Um, so Lainey, we're going to have to think of a hashtag. Um, for it. Please. Hashtags are the big thing, aren't they? And I was posting something to Instagram one day and Abby said to me, Mum, that's too many hashtags. <laughs> um right, more haul. Um I did an order with Sue at Peak Side Needleworks. Um, I've looked at this one many, many times and thought, shall I, shall not I? And I did. So I got Casting a Spell by Blackbird Designs, uh, which I don't think, well, I know I'm, I'm not going to do the box because the box is from Hobby Lobby. We don't have Hobby Lobby over here. Um, and I know a couple of people commented on my Instagram post and said they'd tried to find a box. Hi Joanne and Sarah. Um, but I hadn't had any luck. Um, so I thought, well, if they haven't, I'm not going to. But what I did do, um, I emailed Lynn at Boxy Lady, I think it is. I've had boxes from her before, quite a long time ago. And it does say on a website that um, you can email her and she will try and get get something if, if she doesn't have it. Um, but sadly, her, her supplier doesn't have anything like this. Um, and I also asked about the the one for With Thy Needle and Thread a, a Tannen Balm, which I finished stitching a couple of years ago, I think. Um, and my husband has said he will make me a box. I'm still waiting. He's done plans, he's drawn plans out with all the sizes, sizes of the rolls, but I've not seen the box yet, so I don't know. But anyway, no, she couldn't, she couldn't um, get either of them. So I think I shall either just do them into little pin cushions or I have seen a few people because they can't get the box or they don't like to buy from Hobby Lobby and um, they've done it in one one piece of fabric so I'll see I'll see what, what I want to do but I think it is more likely going to just be cushions that I can just dot around um, in autumn for Halloween um, and I also ordered Plum Street samplers 
always remember. I've been looking at this ever since it came out and thinking, well, I'm in the UK. This is obviously American. Um, so I am going to make some changes if I can. I'm, I'm not very good at putting in my own bits and pieces, but obviously I should take out the eagles. Two, three, <laughs> because that's not our national bird. Um, sorry, American friends. I do, I, I'm, gu I'm guessing that is your national bird. Um, and then obviously I'll take the flag out and see if I can do either a Union Jack or flag of St. George. George's, St. George's Cross. Um, and then somewhere, <clears throat> I think I want to put in my granddad's cousin's name. Um, he died of his wounds um, at the Battle of Arras in 1917. Uh, so I think that would be quite nice just to pop his name on there. Just as a thank you for your sacrifice. So, yeah. I think I'm going to start this probably on the 1st of November, depending on what else I've got on at the time. So, I also ordered the, the cold for, well, the cold for fabric is actually 36 count, but I've got 40 because there wasn't, I could have waited, to be fair, I could have waited to see if, um, if any came in. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, but I, I ordered 40 count because there, there wasn't a, a big enough piece of 36. So this is my very first piece of fox and rabbit linen and this is eucalyptus. That's showing pretty true actually, I think. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And it, it feels really nice fabric. So I'm quite looking forward to, to trying that. And hopefully, <laughs> with good light, I'll be able to see the holes. I can stitch on 40 count. I, I've had 40 count um, as live art, particularly the vintage country mocker. I, I find that I can stitch on that really well. The rolling and not so good. I don't know whether that's more slubby or whether that's just my imagination, but uh, we shall see. I don't know whether I will get the called for um, fancy floss or whether I'll just stick with the DMC and I think I'll see what the conversion's like first and how, how they look together. Um, and then I'm a little bit late to the party. Um, and I have finally treated myself to a couple of Wild Star Roots designs. Hi Christina, don't know if you watch, but hi. Um, <laughs> the, the silly thing was I actually purchased the fabric for both of these quite a while ago. I think it's just been a case of that fabric's nice, I'm going to get it while it's there, because obviously with the pandemic and everything and there's... Um, a backlog of people waiting for <clears throat> orders, shops waiting for orders and everything. So I thought, I'll just get it. I'm going to get it while while it's there. Um, and I don't even remember. I don't even remember what it is that I've got. I just know that it is. When I see it, I know that it's for that. So I picked up... There's the Hudson 1825, which I know a lot of you will have seen this. Like I say, I'm, I'm so late to the party. Um, but I sold a couple of charts so I thought I'm going to treat myself to these two um, and um, Sharon at Shaz Bruce she finished this a while ago and it's absolutely beautiful so I don't know I don't know when I'll get around to stitching them but 
it's always that I've got it and I want to stitch it right now. But I have other things to stitch. And then I got Florence May Piggin, 1889. is a really sweet little design um, and I'm going to stitch this in sulky I've, I've got a pack of red sulky and I think it's three different shades of red if I remember correctly and I think I've got winter moon 35 count winter moon maybe or 40 count winter moon again like I said I can't remember I'll, I'll know when I see the packet I will know So I've got that one and um, Michelle at Mama Loves You GB she finished it a while ago and it's beautiful and um, Andrea Andrea Dotfield oh, sorry Andrea I can't remember your Instagram name now no sorry she's currently stitching it um, using silks and that's looking really pretty right um, plans for August and it's basically just stitch on what I've got going at the moment to be honest um, might have some new starts actually I did need, I did need to get one out um, dress myself properly this morning. Um, luminous fibre arts. Can't remember what it's called. I want to start that. When I finish something else, probably when I finish the Tudor Bee, um, I'm going to start that. Something to do with stitching. I'm hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. But never mind. And then another plan that I've been meaning to talk about since I I spoke to Lisa about it. When I first started um watching Plus Tube before before I started filming, um watching hair floss tube and seeing hair full coverage made me want to go back to the one that I've got on the go I'm so ashamed <laughs> so ashamed I don't know actually whether I'll be able to get this in get the, the actual <coughs> stitching in um, So it's this one, Heaven and Earth Designs Guardian by Selena Fennick, and it's the black and white version. You can get a colour version as well. Um, and this was actually an RAK from Lisa. <sighs> I started this on the 19th of April. Are you ready? 2007. Now, had I just carried on stitching it, it would have probably been finished by now, but I've just kept putting it away, getting it out again, doing a bit more, pulling it away, getting it out again, doing a bit more. And I don't actually know when I last picked it up. I don't think it's been picked up for possibly three years. I'm not entirely sure. But I really, really would, really would like to get it finished. But I have seven full pages left to do and seven partial pages and that is quite a lot because if I could finish a page a month a month it would be great but I just can't because I get fed up of, of, um, of stitching on it which is really bad I mean I have finished I have finished quite a few heaven and earth designs um, I've done some quick stitches I've done a tiny treasure I've done a mini um, so yeah, I've, 
when I first got into them, and it was Lisa who introduced me to them first off, I used to be able to stitch a quick stitch fairly quickly. <laughs> fairly quickly, she says. I think the first few that I did, I could do them in about six months. But I was stitching um, more often on them. You know, it wasn't just one night a week. Um, but this is where I'm at. And I'll have, you'll have to excuse me because the fabric is very grubby. I don't know whether... <clears throat> oh dear, I can't stop coughing this morning. Well, I can stop coughing, but it's just annoying. Um, so, I think, oh my God. This page, I'm on this page here. So I've got this bit to finish. Um, and also, I turned tired of the metallic um, in here somewhere. So I actually tried to unpick it all and I'm now using uh, 3865 instead. And there's my needle minder. That was from No More Lost Needles, which is Lisa's business. So yeah, what I what I would really like to do is try and just do a few stitches on this a week. Just try and get myself back into it. Maybe if I even just do um, one 10 by 10 uh, block a day or something like that if I can but I don't know when I'm going to actually start um, I'm going to have to see what, what I can do if I can get get back into it but we'll see, it's, it's been a long time a very long time so and I think that is that is all my plans all my stitching my finishes um, oh, and I'd just, just like to say thank you. I forgot last time. Very sorry, Amanda, Elder Stitcher. I forgot last time to say thank you for the shout out. Um, yeah, it's, it's been quite nice um, just getting the odd shout out from people. And I've had um, new subscribers, uh, which is which is lovely. Um, and it, it's, ju it's just nice to know that people are watching, that... You know they're they're enjoying what I'm showing. I'm, I know I'm not the most confident. I'm not. I am. I babble. I make mistakes, but I uh, I do quite enjoy doing these and just really kind of just getting in touch with fellow stitchers out there. Oh, I actually forgot to say that my fabric the fabric that i've got for octopus garden is was from lakeside needle crafts um i'll link all the shops that i've, that I've used down below um yes i think i think that's everything so i hope you're all well i hope you're all getting lots of stitching time i know it's the school holidays so those of you with children um won't be getting quite as much as as you maybe like but um the weather has uh, supposedly cooled down a little bit but i am just went to bed last night my husband's there with a quilt up around his chin and i'm thinking no quilt off i'm at that age yep that age uh, so yeah take care everybody do stay safe because this pandemic ain't over. Wear your mask if you can. Um, well, in fact, please just wear your mask. Simple. Keep your distance. Uh, so until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.